Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. I don't think she's ready to wake up just yet. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I've ever done a proper room tour of her room, so I'm just gonna show you around a little bit while she's taking a nap. Uh, when we first moved in, these doors weren't here. These doors go out to the family room so that Raylan, when she's in her room, can very easily wheel out to the family room. You've probably seen me push her through these doors many, many times. Uh, when we're going on walks, when we're, anytime she's leaving her room, usually she's, she goes through these doors. The, the other door to her room is over there and it's smaller. And in order to get through it, she kind of has to maneuver tight spaces. So she doesn't go through that door very often. Um, usually she goes through these double doors right here. Also, this is something we made for her. Actually, uh, somebody at church made that uh, for her, her name, very beautiful. And then we made this for her when we adopted her. Uh, we had a couple big pieces of cardboard, um, not cardboard, big pieces of poster board, and uh, just put several pictures of her throughout the years with her family. Uh, there's another one in her uh, bathroom that says the many faces of Raylan, and it has goofy pictures, uh, just some various pictures of Raylan throughout, throughout the years as well, and that one's also fun. Uh, we made both of those when she was adopted and we just hung them up, one in here, one in her bathroom. What else we got? Right below that is where we keep all of her toys. And there's various things both in this bin and on top. Usually we try to keep the things that she likes the most handy. I'm thinking about putting some shelving right here uh, so that her toys are even more handy. I uh, just haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> Next to that is just some nurse's paperwork, things that they use from day to day. Next to that also is more, more paperwork that they have. <laughs> and she has a rocking chair here. Uh, that makes it really convenient when she's having a long day and somebody needs to sit in her room with her all, the, all day long. Next to the chair, she has uh, just some various medical equipment. Got the cough assist, pulse ox, the nebulizer, and some Listerine to clean out the uh, suction machine, <laughs> which is right there. Suction machine and uh, shaker vest, all that stuff. Uh, just recently I installed this hook for her suction machine so that it's really handy. I put this in here too. This is a little ledge uh, to hold her um, Kindles and things. Um, we have a couple different posters around that show her routines and things. So that's her evening routine, her morning routine, and her school routine. Uh, right at the head of her bed, uh, right here, that's where we keep the magnet that we use to swipe her VNS oftentimes. We just keep it right here, it's real handy. There's one there, and there's also one on the uh, back of her wheelchair. There's always one right here on this handle right here. That way it's real handy. You've probably noticed, but she does have a hospital bed. So if we need to, we can raise and lower parts of it. This whole thing will raise up and down and we can raise her back or her legs or the whole thing. And actually we've set this whole thing on these risers here to bring up the legs just a little bit more even. That really helps our backs because we don't have to bend down very far to lift her uh, out of bed or put her back in. So I appreciate those risers. Uh, and also the ability just to raise the whole thing up. It really does help. Oh, uh, attached to her bed is her tablet holder. Uh, it's a gooseneck thing that you can adjust however you need to so that she can watch it while she's in bed or in her chair. That's really handy, really good. Here's her food. It's always at the foot of her bed when she's in bed. Otherwise, it's gonna be in her bag hanging on the back of her wheelchair there. Uh, I also made this thing. There's a video about that somewhere. But uh, there used to be just empty space here and her bed would kind of shift around. <laughs> and there was so much clutter here on the foot of her bed. I'm like, why not use this space better? So I custom made this little cubby thing. Uh, there's places for things like diapers and uh, wipes and uh, various things like masks and all kinds of things. You know, honestly, it's more clutter. <laughs> this gets cluttered, but at least the clutter is off of her bed. <laughs> now the clutter is more contained there. <laughs> Also, uh, there was oftentimes clutter of blankets and pillows and things like that, and we've kind of moved that clutter over here. Um, she's been doing pretty good with oxygen, so she hasn't needed to be on oxygen all that often. So, therefore, we have like a stockpile of extra oxygen. <laughs> uh, we have six of them here. I think we have another three or four in her closet. So, but, but for now, it's kind of acting as like a shelf. <laughs> so we have pillows and blankets on top of that, and there's gonna be more in her closet as well. Uh, here is her wide erase board. We use this to um, convey all kinds of information. Of course, we mark her seizures on here. Uh, we mark when she has a shower or a bath, uh, that, those kinds of things. 
Um, we have our nursing schedule. Sometimes we put reminders on here about when we need to order things or how she's doing as far as her weight, which is, that's a, that's a little old right now. She's a little over 50 pounds right now, I believe. And her ratio for her food, all kinds of things like that. We don't update this or use this as well as we should, uh, but it's there when we need it. And when we need it, it is extremely useful. I think you saw this is where we usually keep her wheelchair right here, right in front of those oxygen tanks below her wide erase board. Keep on going this way. We have this closet here that has all kinds of things in it. Uh, diapers, wipes, uh, catheters, food bags, lots of various medical things, O2 supplies, just extra overflow of things. Some more blankets, more stuffed animals. Uh, over here we have stuff that this often gets cluttered here. <laughs> Once again, just kind of various things that we need from time to time, whether hair products or sometimes fun things like that, that globe that she likes at, at night sometimes. If you have any questions about all this stuff or what, or maybe you saw something that you're like, what is that thing? Just let me know in a comment. Uh, I'd be glad to kind of point out what, what all this stuff is. Uh, you, you might notice all these pandas around. <laughs> Raylan loves pandas. I think something about the simplicity of black and white, it just really draws her eyes to it, makes her easy to focus on it. So she likes that. Um, we have this camera up here that we used to use to monitor her, especially at nighttime. Uh, we don't use it so much anymore. Uh, see, our bedroom is just like right over there, so we can hear her pretty well while we sleep. Um, so we thought we would need a camera when we moved here, so we put one in, but it's usually unplugged. <laughs> I do I do use it from time to time, uh, sometimes just in the making of a video. I've thought about actually activating it so that it's motion activated. Uh, I think it has that capability. That way, like if she has a seizure during the night, it can automatically record, but I've just never gone through it and set that up. <laughs> but maybe one day, maybe one day. So there's that. And then she has this great big panda curtain that we also put in. Oh, and we put in these, these curtains too, which you may have noticed before also have pandas on them. Lots of little pandas. So her room is like pink and yellow and pandas. <laughs> I think it's really cute. So here is this closet that we can open it up. She's got all of her clothes, more blankets and sheets, all that stuff. We have here in the center console, we have uh, things like spit rags and small blankets and things. So if it's not too cold, we can grab one of these things instead of one of her bigger blankets. Uh, down at the bottom, there's a medicine ball and a bean bag, which she uses for therapy sometimes. And she's got over here on this side, she's got her food, some more oxygen tanks back there. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, that's a tour of her room. Got a little space here for Chuck's pads so that they're handy because we go through quite a bit of those. If I miss something, let me know. <laughs> but that's basically her room. Raylan, your hair is just too cute today. Her nurses do such a good job with her hair. Are you awake now? Hmm? Are you waking up? It's time to get up, okay? There we go, and now she's sleeping again. <laughs> Although I think she's just barely awake. Yeah, I think those eyes are open, aren't they? Those eyes are open. <laughs> All right, let's get going. The spider there? Look, spider still there, Raylan. It's a big spider. <laughs> Are you gonna touch the spider? Maybe. I'd be afraid. Don't touch the spider. Leave her alone. I'm not gonna wear sandals into winter. That's fair. I think yeah. I've done that before. I think I'm gonna start just walking Is to that school chest barefoot player, and putting them on as soon as I get to school. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you emulate his personality a lot. <laughs> That's fair. I don't think my school will walk in, 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 in a good way. Like, that's a good thing. Yeah. No, I really like his sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you match it well. <laughs> what test are you taking? Practice exam. Yeah, I know. Uh, the practice exam. I don't know. It's chemistry. the practice problems before I've been the told first right away. These bugs are lucky. The cases are sick. You're going to do great, Mom. I love you. <laughs> Raylan, you're finally wide awake. You're wide awake. There's nobody else here, though. You can't talk into anyone. The church is empty. She's no. been awake. She talked before. Now you're wide awake. <laughs> Are you talking? Are you talking? 
You ready to get back in bed, Speedy? Okay, we are home and back in bed and ready to go to sleep for the night soon. You feeling good? You're looking good. Back in our room. Back in our room. Yep. <laughs> Is that a little smile? A little smile. You're a cutie pie. <laughs> Good night, sweetie. Good night. <laughs>